On the back end there, and that's the way it goes. And just as great a winner as you will find anywhere. He's uh, some kind of wrestler indeed. Five minutes the time. Five minutes right on the button. And by golly, I'll tell you what, uh, that isn't the only action that we saw. That may not have been the same kind of action, but uh, we would like for you to see a match that took place between the Dream Machine oh, and yeah. Carl mm. Fergie. I wish I could say that it had the same kind of sportsmanship. Let's take a look at it. before we did. You can see Jimmy Hart over here wailing away on Carl Fergie, the dream machine. His first appearance in the Coliseum. Backdrop. He's going against a good one in Carl Fergie, I'll tell you that. Dream Machine, pounding away, stomping away, doing it all on Carl. Referee Paul Morton telling him about the fist, but not doing one bit of good. Hard over here saying, work him over, work him over. Fergie in the corner, pulled out. Takes a big elbow down in the middle. Carl Fergie, we're coming up not too far from the... And that's going to be it. That is going to be a submission for the Dream Machine in 4 minutes and 58 seconds. Machine will let go of it. Be a good time to uh, disqualify him. As the referee telling him to let it go, and he's referee Jerry Calhoun coming out to help out. And he is chucked aside by the Dream Machine. Coco Ware coming in after him. Rick Morton. He takes a shot at Jimmy Hart. Now there's a good idea. And the Dream Machine nails Rick. Calhoun back in the ring. Hart grabs Rick Morton with a cane. Dream Machine gets rid of Calhoun. Carl Fergie still bleeding profusely. And the crowd waiting for Lawler. And there he is. Hey. 